So, MW Summa here. I recently made a lot of progress on my game. From my last video, I made inventory scripts and VFX, so I created some UI for the currency and daily reward. But that was hella boring. I wanted to create cool fighting choreography, tick punches and karate, water mouthing explosions, and warning. So, I started creating speed. Not this speed, and definitely not this. Speed that revolution. So I first created a variable for the max speed capacity. And then I created a speed capacity to check how much gas it got to spray. Then I added a speed capacity decrease rate. After that, I added a boolean variable to check if the character is sprinting. Every time the character sprints, it loses speed capacity at a rate of 0.05. And when the character runs out of capacity, it stops sprinting. And when the character stops sprinting, it gains sprint capacity till its max. And to start sprinting, the character double clicks W. I then added a sprint interval time to initiate sprinting if the double click is within the time interval. I then use a variable to check when players click W to check for sprinting. And here's the final part. But the sprinting looked really bland. So I added a camera zoom to the sprinting by using camera offset and lurping. But there still was no way to tell the speed capacity. So I added a billboard GUI to the character to show the speed fuel. I then added some final touches by adding anime speed effects. But there needed to be some crouching in the game. So I added crouching functionality when players move and don't move. I used this condition statement to check if the player is moving. And for the animation, I got it from Mixer. And you can get a lot of free animations from this website. But it wasn't an easy task. Came across many issues when importing animations. I had to manually fix some animation in Blender. Like, I could you not. I stayed up at 12 a.m. literally trying to figure out how to solve the problem. Yeah. Anyways, I started working on the landing feature to give it realism. And to create it, I created a condition statement to check if the player jumped from a high place. Then I made a character still whenever it landed. I then loaded some animation and emitted some particles. And then I added a weird equation to create the camera bounce effect. And this was basically the final results. This video is quite short because I didn't create a lot of stuff last week. I'd probably be adding more things to the movement system, but for now I'm working on a character with power moves. I have a Discord link in the description where you can give me feedback or ask me any questions. And subscribing to me would be nice because it helps me grow as a content creator. Or else! Uh...